Ben Franklin the Inventor Table of Contents Who was Benjamin Franklin? Page 4 Swimming Fins Page 6 Street Lamps Page 7 Odometer Page 8 Bifocals Page 9 Franklin Stove Page 10 Long Arm Page 11 Electricity and Lightning Rods Page 12 Glossary Page 14 Who was Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin was born in 1706. He was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts was a colony of Great Britain at the time. Twelve nearby colonies were also ruled by Great Britain. Franklin helped the 13 colonies become independent. He was one of the founding fathers of the United States. Benjamin Franklin is on the $100 bill. Franklin did many other things, too. He was a postmaster and an inventor. He ran a newspaper and a printing business. He started the first United States public library. He wrote books. This is one of them. This book of Franklin's was printed every year for 25 years. It contains weather information, advice, and more. Swimming fins. Franklin loved to swim. As a boy, he invented swimming fins to swim faster. He held two flat, oval pieces of wood in his hands. Thumb holes made them easier to hold. Franklin used them to pull back water and move forward. Swimming fin. Street lamps. Street lamps burned oil in glass globes. They became dirty very fast. They were also easy to break. Franklin saw why they got so dirty. No air flowed inside them. He invented a new street lamp. It had four flat pieces of glass. It let air flow inside. It stayed cleaner, so it lit up better. Street lamp. Franklin's street lamps burned whale oil. Odometer. Franklin was a postmaster for many years. He traveled a lot to look at roads and post offices. He wanted to find the fastest roads for mail carriers. Franklin invented a new kind of odometer. This tool measured how far mail carriages traveled. He used the trip length to figure out how much people should pay to send mail. His odometer helped the Postal Service earn money. Odometer Bifocals Franklin had two pairs of glasses. One pair was for reading. The other pair helped him see things that were far away. Franklin didn't like having to change glasses. He invented double spectacles. Spectacles is another word for eyeglasses. The top part helped him see things far away. The bottom part helped him read. Today, we call these glasses bifocals. Early bifocals. Franklin Stove People used to heat their homes with fireplaces. Most of the heat was lost up the chimney. Also, fireplaces used lots of wood. Franklin invented an iron stove. It used less wood. It gave off heat from every side. It was also safer and made less smoke. It was called the Franklin stove. A modern kind of Franklin stove is still used today. Franklin stove. Long Arm Franklin loved to read. He often needed to get books from high shelves. When he was older, he didn't feel safe climbing a ladder. He invented a simple machine known as a long arm. It had two wooden fingers on a long piece of wood. The fingers had a cord. Pulling on the cord made the fingers open or close. They grabbed books from high shelves. Modern grabber tools are a lot like Franklin's long arm. They help people get things from hard-to-reach places. Electricity and lightning rods Long ago, people did not understand electricity. They didn't know how it worked. Franklin wanted to learn about it. He did some experiments. He showed that lightning is electricity. 
Franklin did an experiment to show that lightning was electricity. He flew a kite during a thunderstorm. He fastened a wire and a key to the kite. Electricity went through the wire and into the key. His experiment was a success. Lightning is very dangerous. Franklin wanted to help keep buildings and people safe. He invented a lightning rod. It is a metal rod placed on a building. A wire connects the rod to the ground. If lightning strikes, it goes down the wire into the ground. The building and the people inside it stay safe. Ben Franklin holds a lasting place in American history. He changed the world in many important ways. Lightning rods are still used today. Glossary, carriages, large machines with four wheels that carry people and are pulled by horses. Colony, a settled area controlled by another country and occupied by settlers from that country. Connects, joins together. Dangerous, able to cause harm. Electricity. A form of energy carried through wires and used to make many lights, machines, and other things work. Experiments: scientific tests that involve doing something and carefully observing the results. Founding fathers: the men who played an important part in setting up the United States government. Globes: round objects. Grabbed: took hold of. History. The study of things that happened long ago. Independent, not ruled or controlled by another country. Iron, a heavy kind of metal used to make many things. Inventor, a person who makes something that has never been made before. Postmaster, a person in charge of a post office or postal system. Strikes, hits with great force.